and we are off. First canoe trip of the year. And I have officially put hand sanitizer and washed my hands for the last time for the next three days. I'm super excited. I'm only worried about one germ and uh, he's over here. <laughs> I'm out with uh, young Joseph. So we're out for uh, three days in the, uh, the north here and uh, it's gonna be a good time. If the road in is any inclination of uh, what we're in for, it's going to be a great trip, minus the bugs. We stopped for two minutes on the edge of the bush and just covered in bugs already, but uh, that's all par for the course. We saw two bears, two moose just on the road up, so uh, yeah, great to be back outdoors. Season bass. Back to go. Can't stay here. Anyway, we're just poking along. That's uh, about my third cast of the trip. We just pulled out our fishing rods. We decided to do a couple quick casts. A little bit. Uh, we got a little bit of time today, so I'm just throwing a jig at these rock points to see if I can get something. But got a bass right away. If it was fresh ice out, then the fish would be up the shallow. So I don't know where we're at because we're probably uh, probably a month late. Oh, there's something. There's something. Oh, that was a bass. He's gone. That's okay. He's out of season anyway. So. It came low, so I'm hoping it's a pickerel, but we'll see. We'll see. Ooh, it's a pike. Oh, pike. Well, pikey, making me all wet. Just a pike. 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 You go home too. Just been uh, paddling across a couple lakes here, making our way through, casting here and there, and picking up a few fish, but uh, kind of forgot to, to film. So we're missing a couple hours there, but that's okay. Very uh, slow pace today, and it's really nice to, to get get back into the, the mode, camp mode, and uh, just ease into it instead of starting off with a mad race. So that's what we're doing. Probably another hour and a bit we'll find our camp and uh, set up and then probably go out and do some fishing, have a fire. So, great day. Luckily the sun has just kind of got a little overcast and it's, uh, it's much better. I'm not going to get fried to a crisp.
This is a, uh, a low water portage, but I think we're going to squeak through. But the next lake is possibly our, uh, our camping lake. Looking away downtown, walking fast, faces That was so good, I'm afraid of copyright, Joe. I miss you. I think I just better shut it off. Up and over. Yeah, See all the, the pollen on the top of the water. Beavers are uh, a miraculous little creature. I think I'm going to go over the edge. That's the place. And a big push off. And that's that. Pretty back in here. Very nice back here. These are my favorite areas, these little in-betweens. Yeah, I like the lot too. So you can see the shore right there. Nice and close to shore. There's some gooses up there with the babies to your right. Yep. Right there. It sure is. What do we got here? Another bass. Gone. Good. That's what we need to do with the bass. You see how I just released that in the water like that? Yeah, it's uh, it's best for the bass. Just hands free. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to do that. Oh boy. That's a good sign. First cast in uh, the lake that we're going to camp on. Possibly. There's an island up here we're going to check out for a camp. So. Getting a little overcast. Feels like a little bit of rain maybe, but I actually don't even mind. I'll take it. I'm so hot. I'm going to go have a look see what uh, see what it looks like. If we don't like it, we can, uh, we can hop to the next lake and check that one out too. But... Right now, this is our uh, our first option. A nice big island, that's for sure. But there's an easier way to get out on this side. Not bad. Go have a look.
Good spot right here. Good spot there. Yeah, I'll spot go there. I'll go back okay, I'm gonna go. I'll, I'll go right here. Perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. All right. Well, some benches. We'll have to go. Somebody's had some eggs. Oh, bonus. <laughs> Maybe the bears will come back to lick the yolk. All right. So that's it. <laughs> Look at this bear dog. This is a sweet bear hen right here. That's clever. Bear will never get that. <laughs> Six inches off the branch. <laughs> like, yeah, four off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. This is camp. Yeah, I'm going to go right back in here if you don't mind. No, go for it. I'll go up front. Perfect. One of the problems with these uh, island sites is they're pretty picked over for firewood. We may have to uh, <laughs> go on the mainland to... Uh, to get some good stuff. <laughs> Nothing. One thing about this trip is that it's a, uh, it's no lightweight trip. This pack I'm using is a Savada LBK, LJK, something like that. But anyway, it's the, the big boy Savada and it fits real nice in my canoe except for the side pockets I can't use, but I got more than enough room anyway. So yeah, let me get that tent set up because it's looking a little bit, uh, a little bit overcast, so I want to be ready. I brought the uh, Tashum canvas tent, heavy old pig of a thing, but uh, I just wanted to bring it along because uh, I mean I get another chance this summer it would be a lot more lightweight, but this trip is not lightweight whatsoever. So we're going heavy and uh, canvas it is. So one of the drawbacks this time of year is a lack of bug netting. Now you can you can uh, you can order that stuff, but uh, I'm I'm good without it. I'm kind of relying a bit on the uh, the snow flaps to keep most of the bugs out. But normally by bedtime they're pretty much calmed down anyway. But I'll tell you right now they sure found us and they're getting us. Just gonna set up my bed here now and uh, get my gear in in case it rains, and uh, we'll carry on. Come on in.
All right, just lay down here. And there we have it. There's our view. Let's... Camp chair. A real uh, no-brainer when no no weight. When weight's done, this you bring a little camp chair. This is the old. Helinox? Helinox. 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 <laughs> I bet you couldn't see it. Joe just gave a big spiel <laughs> in his uh, video about uh, he got the ultralight one. It's a uh, different material. Sounds like it's not as comfortable and uh, all around not as good as mine. Well, but a pound lighter. And twice as much money. Was it? Probably. Hmm. I would imagine. Would you? Would you? Pretty uh same I think it's the same diameter. It's all it's all in the material though. For sure. Oh for sure. It's all in the wrist. All in the wrist. What movie's that from? Do you know Doug? No idea. What are you doing? Go touch the honey. Sure. Much, much wider. Hmm. Yeah, that is light though. That's light as a feather. I'll put my my little butt in it. Do you have Air Force Ones in your backpack? No. Why do you ask? Oh, well, I don't. Know. It'd be a good camp camp shoe. Oh, oh, my butt's getting squeezed together. <laughs> For you, real. I told you. For real. It doesn't really bother me because my... Yeah, you can live with it, but it's, it's really twisty too. Yeah, I'm a lot lighter and have less of hips and butt than everyone. Than the average man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> Say it again. You don't like it? I don't like it. Oh. I'll stick with my, with my... My big butt. Big duck butt. That's the... Uh, chair part. That's the chair segment. <laughs> 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 oh. I'm ready for a nap. Is what I want. It's four o'clock. Camp set up, and uh, wasn't a it wasn't a hard day at all. It's just the first day on the trip. Yep. It was a nice day. It was a great day. It was a good day. And it's so funny. Very rarely do you ever look at the map, and you're always judging yourself. Le like Less than you've been. Yeah, because we're looking at the map going, oh, we can't be, we're here. No, we're way up here. So we were always judging ourselves slower. We are always, every time we found where we were on the map, we were always way farther ahead than we thought we were. So that's rare. You have like 55 flashlights on your back. Yeah. Got some sun today too. Mm. We got to go get some firewood. And yeah, that's the problem with the island. I don't know why you picked an island because oh there's no, there's no firewood on the island. If you guys could have heard the conversation we had. All right, well, I'm gonna sit here. I think. You have so do I? Am I is my back covered in black flies? No, is mine covered? <laughs> I don't care. It must be the gray shirt. I never pick the right shirts. That's your lot in life. <laughs> Last year I was on a trip, I had a black shirt, and the mosquitoes love the dark colors. Yeah, and the black flies. Just gonna sit here for a while. It's buggy. <laughs> You're buggy. Mm -hmm. Really not biting, they're no. just kind of annoying. Yeah, I think I have a couple bites, but other than that, like for the amount of them, I'm not bad. Yeah. You know what it's like? It's like a um, a black fly in your Chardonnay, like a kind of like a free ride when you already paid. It's a good life. I gotta go. And who would have thought? My butt. Oh, oh man. What'd you do, Joe? I poured it in my butt like this. <laughs> Just sat and then went like this. <laughs> Look. 
Watch, this is my chair. <laughs> that sucks. I stayed freaking dry all day. Do I have... Is there... Yeah, yeah, it's all Can wet. I... Yeah. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> and you're blaming the uh, water bottle. <laughs> it's had a little tinkle. Son of a snitch. <laughs> Look at that. Root ball. That is huge. Huge. Look at the size of that root ball that came over. That's wild. That's huge. It's not much, but it's still good wood. It's maple. Same thing here, same thing there, another one over there, so not bad. Gotta get away from the bugs. Good grief. Wow. Bugs are thick in the bush. Oh. They just seem to, you're okay when you first get in there and then they find you and then they just attack. Anyway, we got wood here. And we got starter wood here. <coughs> I just ate a black fly. Oh. Anyway, good times. And now it's starting to rain. All right, I'll head back to camp.
you think about that. Got a bird. Use his head. Peck holes in the wood. Crazy. So loud. Give me a headache. I just cast the lily pads and a fist jump right there. It goes. Oh, shook it. Little bass. I cast right in those lily pads there and the uh, fist jumped. Scared the fish. Alright. Can't get a pike to save my life, but. Another bass is going to go right back in the water. Another one. Breeze is starting to pick up a bit. That's a good thing. We're being on the point of that island. I'd be okay with a little breeze going over our tents and keeping the bugs back. Hell of a day, but we'll see. A little, little dismal in the air, you can hardly see it, but once in a while, you, a couple sprinkles, but I don't think it's going to rain too hard. Joe's at camp. I'm starving to death. Time to head in for the night, get that fire going, and get some food in my belly. Maybe a cup of tea too. Good day in the water though. Real good. Oh, look at you. I didn't even put my coat on. Nice. Get a tarp up. That was a good boy. Yeah, All right. That wind changed direction. Yeah. Yeah. It's on my, my back now. Yeah, definitely. Huh. All right. Boat is upside down. I got my little carabiner on a root. Let it rain. on the tarp. Wood's fairly dry still. Get that fire going. I just came in here, picked up my tarp, or my backpack. Look at that. Oh, oh I didn't see him still. Sucker. Scare you? Right in my backpack. <laughs> Get out of here. No, farther away. <laughs> Go back inside, Go buddy. Away. Go back inside, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty thing. Oh, I hate snakes. Really? Oh, I hate them. Oh, it's okay. Don't mind me. I'm just shaking out my sleeping bag and tying it up in a knot before I crawl in with the dirty old snake again. Gross.
Good, good, good. Glad we went into the uh, the bush and got the wood out when it's dry. Like, mm. The foliage. Piece of wood. It's mostly fat wood, I believe. Good. That's that. Let the smoke come on to me. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat some food. Me too. Starve to death. Packed my whole kitchen. A little Maxpedition uh, water bottle carrier. Got a little. GSI cup. Got my 40 ounce water bottle, but I don't. On a, on a canoe trip, you just drink right out of your filter mostly, so I don't need that. Another little pot in the bottom. And I got a different, uh, different kind of a twig stove that's really not available. It was a prototype from a fella, but uh, I'll show you more about that tomorrow. But real sleek little setup. And in the front pocket, I got my lid, ferro rod, fat wood lighters, a couple spoons. So, makes for a nice little kit. Always tie up our food bags, even in the daytime at camp, because the squirrels and chipmunks like food as much as the bears. So, you always keep your food up off the ground. Learned that lesson. And there's the sun coming back. No more rain. Blue skies. Awesome. You guys have a glare on the water. But there's a big... All right, our whole evening has just changed purpose. We gotta get that snapping turtle on real good video. Joe's gone out fishing, trying to get a night bite. So I brought my little uh, little carving kit and a couple blocks of wood here. And I figured maybe over the next couple of nights or so, I'd uh, whip them up a little, a little bear, a little carving or something to, to take home with them for the for the kids to look at.
Look at this. It's like a gross egg. I want to. It's really pointy on top. But anyway, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna move it or touch it, but I doubt that's a nest, but maybe they just lay them wherever or someone grabbed it and took it out here, but pretty cool. Never seen a gross egg before. today I think we're gonna call it soon but uh, we've just been sitting around the fire with having some real enlightening conversations <laughs> and we've covered mr. dress up and hammy hamster and the friendly giant and Danny champion Danny of champion world. of the world the, the pheasant, the pheasant killer <laughs> <laughs> Google Danny champion of the world yeah so anyway we're gonna call it for the video bugs are down I will say they are big. It's time. fantastic, but what a day we had! We hit all the weather patterns. And yeah, well, we even mentioned what happened tonight. Even after all that, like uh, the it rained and then the sun come out. The gr there's a grouse egg just laying on the ground over there. Oh yeah, well, because when I walked up the trail this afternoon, the grouse scared the life out of me. It just flew up right in front of me. And I went back to get my camera, but he, I couldn't find him again. But then I found a gross egg right on the trail. <laughs> and maybe I scared the egg out of him. <laughs> but anyway, great day. So animals, even c coming into the park this morning, two bears, two moose. And I missed one tonight. Joe got to see a bear tonight on the other shore here. Played with a snapping turtle. Yeah, Caught a bunch it. of fish. Covered a lot of ground. Yep. Good grief. Never been to this park before? Nope. So... Good times, but I'm going to end the video tonight and just uh, just relax. So I'll catch up with you in the morning. All right, good night, guys.
Morning. Let's get our fire going again. About to cook up some pancakes. Pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And cut. All right. Morning. Morning. Joe's up. Get the fire going. Make some pancakes. Pancake breakfast. Yep. Not in a big rush to take off. Too quick. Kind of nice. Mm -hmm. Very relaxing trip. I do like enjoying the mornings at camp, which we never get to do. Well, it was nice this morning because I took a lot. Like I just went around the island and just stopped in every little area, and it's cool. Just exploring, and I slept. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I whittled. I had coffee in my tent. Beauty morning. Yeah, and the breeze is keeping the bugs down. But I think I'm gonna have to go uh, full pirate today. I think I burnt my head yesterday in that sun. You get your survivor man on? Get my survivor man on. <laughs> go full bandana. As long as you don't start talking about Bigfoot, we'll be all right. Yeah, no Bigfoot talk. Extra large today to keep us going. This is super good. I got the middle cooked, so that's a bonus. Got big old chocolate chips in there. Super lardy, it's crispy on the outside. Very good. Dense. You got another one here? I don't know how much is there. Not much, eh? Oh, I don't know. Very good. Oh my goodness. Full of chocolate chips. It's like a dessert pancake. Mm. Yeah, we did have Saturday morning cartoons to watch. <laughs> did you get so there's syrup here? There's a ton of syrup. I got chocolate chips. That's good. No, you're good. I'm not even gonna use all that. You can drink it. Oh, thanks. The chocolate's nice, though. What a treat. It's a. Uh, Lard heavy, but uh, they'll fuel us for the day nicely. For our five kilometer travel day. <laughs> yeah, we're not going far. No. Oh, we got a 1200 kilometer kilometer. 1200 meters. 14. 14, 1400 meters. Yeah, right there. Oh, no, that's the two. No, we're going to go to another lake. That's the two, and then, the, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, very good, Joe. Tastes good. Good. So what do you got going on? Oh, a couple bug bites. Like when I complain about bugs, it's not that I'm worried about bugs. It's not that I don't like to be bit or, or, or have them swarm me. It's that I physically have a reaction to them. I showed Doug the one on my leg. I have a big one spider webbing up to there. I'll show you here. So you can see I got a, a bite there. Right it's sideways. it's a lump on pretty there. swollen. <laughs> um, but then you can see the red tracking. Yeah. I can see it go to to there so far. Yeah. But um, that wasn't even like that this morning when I woke up. But I think it's when they can get in there and get get attached and mangle it all around because not every bite does that to me. But look at that. But this is it's gonna be a, a poisoning of your. Uh... Oh yeah, I feel sick. Yeah. Yeah, like I I I'm, I feel achy. And I'm slow. Like. So and you never used to be like that. It's only been the last three years, two years. Yeah, I got exposed like 12 years ago, real bad. And then, like with Kyle in Tomogamy, was this the first real time that I, I noticed it happened four years ago or so? Yeah. It's too bad. Mm -hmm. All right.
getting my full pirate on. Camp is packed up and uh, we're moving on. Got a little more protaging than yesterday, but still, it's still an easy day. So if that wind stays down like it is right now, it'll be great, but it uh, seems to just gust up, come and go. So what, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> And portage number one for the day. You excited? making our way across this last lake before uh, what's, what will be probably the most work of this whole trip is the uh, 1.4 kilometer portage but that's still not bad considering other trips we've done so we'll get through that and then basically we're in the same lake system that we're going to camp tonight so it's a pretty pretty quick day and we got all afternoon do whatever we want. I like this kind of camping. There goes nothing. These canoes are so light. It's fantastic for a portage. I can't imagine doing it with my old heavy canoe anymore. Well, that's the end of the portage. The bugs were merciless in that bush, but uh, it's overcast and it's starting to rain now. No. I don't expect it to be a big rain. But... Oh, that was a slog. Yeah, bugs are gonna find us too. Just as the rain picks up. So. It's raining now. Huh? Yep. But it's, it's coming in. I can see blue already. Like it's not gonna last. The storm seems to be blowing over, so I'm not gearing up in rain suits or nothing. I'm gonna wing it. Winds, winds moving pretty good out here, but we got to cross this lake still. And uh, after we cross this lake, so one more portage. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was, that was it on this one, but I guess one more, and then we're in our lake for the day. So it's 12 on the button. So I'm looking forward to getting to our lake and uh, getting some grub in me again. I can't live on snacks. Well, I bet wrong on the rain. <laughs> I said it's just going to blow over, but it's actually such a light, steady rain. It feels kind of nice after a sweaty portage. We decided to hit a campsite and uh, have a snack under the trees and see if this blows over before we get all suited up. Beautiful. Nice rain to cool down and the sun coming right behind it. Blue skies. What a difference that makes. Man, the sun is just 
beaten down now. Just in a matter of uh, not even 20, 25 minutes from rain to full sun and really no wind right now. So maybe the rain and the wind were a package gone together. Time will tell. This lake is deeper than the last couple we've been in, but the uh, water is so clear, I'll show you. Beautiful, you can see down so far when you're just paddling over, it's fun to watch the stuff go by underneath. Portage. Yeah. On the lake. Uh, this is just a small piece of the lake. It's a large, very large lake, just full of islands. And probably the biggest one up here, but with lots of these little arms and fingers and bays. So, camp's not too far ahead. So, we're going to go to camp, eat some lunch. And then we'll decide what to do next. But I'm sure it involves fishing. And there it is. Our camp tonight. Made to camp and this is the only priority I have is to get some lunch in me so that's what I'm going to do. Seal it up. Wait 15 minutes, it says. There you go. Little Nest Cafe, three in one. Go with it. And now we'll hit the spot. Till we catch a fish for supper. Right, Joe? Yep. Fish for supper. Fish That's our goal. Our real estate is uh, not too great here. Only two, two spots that we could find here. They're both super sloped, and the uh, the earth only covers about three inches and it's rock below so all my stakes are like uh, snow stakes on an angle. And Joe's the same way over here. Just got to, basically we, all we could find is just one spot where you can lay your body and the rest is just uh, your gear doesn't need to be flat so it'll do though. Just out on a little exploratory paddle. Poor, uh, poor Joe's not feeling good. Got that the black fly business going, but uh, just want to go to there's one. A little pike. Just drifting across the lake. It's still pretty windy to get out there, but yeah, it's not bad. I'm not gonna keep him yet. I'm holding out for a walleye for supper, but uh, that's a good sign. Water is beautiful, crystal clear here too. So I gotta be a little, a little more stealthy than uh, some of those dirtier lakes, but. It's not a bass, finally. That lake yesterday was far too bassy to uh, keep fishing in. Really wanna catch a walleye to eat tonight. I'll take a pike if I have to, but ideally, Wally. Got fish crisp and oil all ready to roll.
Well, yeah, Joe's got the uh, black fly fever, or whatever you call it. But he's all welted up, feeling sick, and the the, the bites are actually starting to spider web up his leg and his thigh. It's pretty pretty bad. That wind uh, came back with a vengeance. Pretty gusty. Hard to hold the hold a canoe and fish. Well, we got something else in the line. No idea yet what it is. It's deep, deep. Oh. Oh, looks like another pike. Another pike. Yep, it is. Oh! <laughs> oh boy. He wasn't ready. He said, not yet. Try it again. There he is. There we go. Another pike. Put him back in too. So what I'm doing is I got this jig, I got three eighths ounce uh, jig head on it. Not really shore fishing. I'm keeping it out uh, about like there, letting it sink down. I'm just dragging that jig right along the bottom. If I was to guess, it's probably 10, 10 to 12 feet of water, and uh, just kind of popping it along. And getting snags. Yeah, popping along and getting snags between the rocks. All right. I really make out well. I catch a stickerel. Lots of stickerel in this lake. Four pike in on this shoreline here. It's four o'clock in the afternoon, and I think I'm gambling now and I think if I catch another pike I'm just gonna keep it for supper the walleye aren't coming in there's no real rock points drops I don't know where the humps and bumps are in the lake and uh, the evening bites gonna be too late to come back to make supper with if this with the walleye come in in the evening up in the shallow so uh, if I catch another pike I'm just gonna keep it because uh, I would hate 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 to be eating some junk supper again after letting go all these fish. So another pike and uh, I'll keep it for supper tonight. Oh man, that was spectacular. I lost the uh, the pike, but it was a big pike come up under these uh, pine trees here. I had it really deep and he fought like crazy and he came straight up and he jumped right straight out of the water and shook the, uh, shook the jig, but what a show. That was awesome. There's one. When you pull them down from that bottom, they feel a lot bigger than they really are when they're deep. But. And pike again, of course. Oh, hey, 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 hey. All right. That is supper time pike. That's a good size. Let's hold him proper. There we go. He'll do. All right. Like I said, that's not the uh, the target I was after. But fried fish is fried fish, and uh, we won't go hungry tonight. I'm going to head back to camp anyway. This wasn't supposed to be a fishing afternoon. I was going to just do an exploratory run, and uh, I got carried away. Well, the wind helped carry me away, but anyway, I'm going to go check on uh, Joe, see how he's doing. You dead? No. Okay.
good, some good maple. a bear, I decided. I'll let Jojo can take it home to his kids if he wants to. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll let them fight fight over it, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I won't sign it so he can't sell it. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I'll forge your signature. <laughs> Gotta stop. Gotta stop. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You know, dub this over with some wind noise or something. <laughs> Every time Joe talks, he just put wind noise dubbed over. <laughs> it was not what I was going for, but still good. Yeah. I, uh, no walleye to be found. It's too shallow over there. Okay. I picked up five, and I was holding out for a five oh, what five oh sorry five pike. Oh nice. And I was holding out for a while, so I kept putting them back, and then I just decided now I said uh, I'm not gonna be the guy that throws the last fish in and has no supper. So I kept the pike in the in the canoe in the canoe, yeah. Nice. Look at. Look at these black flies. This is crazy. Crazy, I say. Hey? Hey, <laughs> hey. Is that you, Joe? <laughs> That's what we got. I got uh, some little little tubes of paint. I can at least do the uh, the nose and the eyes, and uh, a little bit of oil. So finish them up. Here we find Joe in his natural habitat. <laughs> oh, what is, look at that. That's pretty good, man. Didn't take you long at all, eh? They're cute, eh? Yeah, it is. Thank you. There you go. That's for Emerald. For Emmy. Or Autumn. Fight to the death. Fight to the death, that's right. to uh, fly up my pike and uh, get my little twig stove going and fry them up and we're gonna go out for another quick little fish so I'm gonna eat them up and uh, go fishing again just as our little fire gets going here a little baggie of uh, pike hopefully uh, boneless I cut them up in little pieces so I can fry them in the uh, frying pan and they got some roasting Roasted garlic and butter, uh, fish crisp. That's Rocky Madsen's fish crisp. So. A 
couple to get started here and then they'll get the fry pan going. That's what I want to hear. Hey? Yes. Last time I did this, someone commented, Get your filthy fingers out of the food! <laughs> I said, I'll eat it. I don't even care about the fingers. Oil, oil sanitizes everything. I bet it does. We got some room for another one. That's it. A lot of fish. What's up? A lot of fish. Yeah, it is. How's that one guy? I did the tail separately. Right. Took the tail off and then took the top off and then hopefully hopefully got the, the wide bone out. A little five fillet. Oh thanks, Dub. That's good. Got another fry pan yet to eat. <laughs> That's pretty good. You can play it right. You can't tell the difference hardly from any other fish. Right? If you play it right. And if you're hungry too. <laughs> uh, oh, that's good. No, I can't. I can't tell the difference between this and bass or walleye. It's got a nice uh Nice crunch on the when you apply it and fry it and garlic butter and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. garlic and butter, not garlic butter. That's it. Rocky Madsen's garlic and butter. You're gonna lose that. Right, I see it. Ooh, anyway, rocky. we're gonna finish our supper and probably go for a paddle. Who's Rocky Madsen? I don't know. You know? I do not. Something to do with fish? Maybe. Hockey. Or golf. There you have it. <laughs> Sounds like a golfer. Maybe just because <laughs> Billy Madison. I have no idea why. It's I not even the same movie at all. <laughs> well, that's it. Back underwater. That was a. That was quite a feed. Young Joseph only had a couple little bites, so. Uh, I ate most of that fish. That was good. Glad. Haven't been eating like I should be, so that was a good feed. And out for a, a paddle, throw a few more casts. Joe's already out, all bundled up. But, you know, it's my job to, to make fun of him. But it's got to suck to react like that to black flies. Especially when the spring canoeing is so important. There's that sun out for one more look. Just up in the narrows from our little piece of lake into another piece of lake. And uh, yeah, this is going to feed out into a, a real big section of lake. So, let's go for a little. A little tour around here, see what we can see.
That guy over there. What's he up to? So quiet, peaceful. Out of the wind here. I'm happy just paddling. Believe it or not, it's uh, about 10 o'clock at night. It's still light out, but uh, we're just winding down by the fire and uh, it's gonna be an early night. Joe's sickly and beat and I'm beat. And uh, pretty uneventful evening, I think, so. I'll check back with you in the morning. <laughs> He's fine, man. Yeah, go ahead. All right, guys. Took him off. Where? <laughs> All right, guys. I'm gonna call it a video. Right here, right now. Bye. Gonna have. <laughs> gonna have a little, uh, little camp time yet, and uh, basically we gotta clean up camp and uh, what we did in the last two days. We gotta do. Yet today on the way out. Today on the way out. So we gotta do our two days in and one day out and drive home. So uh, it's gonna be a hectic day. I'm gonna pack the camera up in my bag and uh, just enjoy camp for a little bit. Yep. Enjoy the day paddling out. Did you have a good trip? I did. Did you? I had a great trip. Really enjoyed it. I do have this to say about Clarney Park. This park is alive. <laughs> Hey? Yeah, I do. I agree. Like, uh, so much going on here in the environment. It's great. Loved it. We saw more more animals yesterday coming in than, or sorry, the day before than I have in a lot of trips. Oh yeah, together. no, it's been uh, it's been great. So, anyway, hope you liked the video, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll well, see you guys in the next one too. Okay, that's it. Goodbye. Last word. Goodbye. <laughs>